Hi, my name is Rochelle Winson, and I'm going to show you eight of my favorite yoga poses to help you get a better night's sleep. The first pose we're going to do is just come to sit, and then you're just nice and easy. You're going to slowly start to fold forward, extending the arms in front of you, just letting the hips relax, just getting everything nice and calm, and essentially just allowing yourself just to decompress after a long day, letting yourself just slow down and focus on the simple inhale and exhale. The second pose is you're going to sit cross-legged and you're going to slowly start to draw your navel in towards your spine, sitting up nice and tall. You're going to slowly take the right hand to the wall and just gently start to twist around. Again, moving to your own range of motion, so making sure not to over-twist, bring back posture, uh, help to reset the spine, and again, also very calming. And you're going to repeat this on the left side as well. The third pose we're gonna do is child's pose. You're gonna bring the big toes together and take the knees wide apart. And again, just letting yourself fold forward. So letting the belly just sink between the thighs and just extending the arms, focusing on letting the hips just sink down towards the heels of the feet and focus on the breath, the inhale and exhale. The fourth pose we're gonna do is you're gonna slowly come to lay onto your back and you're just gonna gently bring the knees in towards the chest, placing your hands on top of your shins, and then you can gently start to rock side to side, releasing out any low back tension. The fifth pose, staying on your back with the knees tucked into the chest, you're gonna let the knees fall to the right side, nice and easy, and you're gonna open up the chest, letting the arms come by your sides, and then slowly look away from the legs. This is really nice to help reduce low back pain, really great just to help the spine decompress, and it's very calming. You're gonna repeat this as well onto the left side, so bringing the knees over to the left and just looking opposite direction. The sixth pose we're gonna do is my favorite pose of all the postures. You're going to come as close to the wall as possible, maybe moving the pillows out of the way. You're gonna slowly fall onto your back and then gently bring the legs up the wall. And then just rest the arms by your sides. This pose is really nice because it brings you into relaxation mode. So it allows your body to have a sensation of grounding and just slowing down physically and mentally. The seventh pose that we're gonna do is you're gonna come to lay onto your back. You're gonna let the soles of the feet press together and allow the knees just to splay apart. Now, if you have tight hips or you feel tense in your hip flexors, you're gonna place a pillow under each knee. You can place your hands onto your belly or by your sides. And again, just let your eyes close and just focus on a nice deep breath. Inhale and exhale. The last pose we're going to do is Shavasana. So you're simply just going to come to lay onto your back, extending your arms by your sides and your legs out long in front of you and just allowing your whole body to fully unwind, decompress. Getting this sensation of feeling very heavy and grounded and just allow yourself just to start to calm the mind by just focusing on the inhale and the exhale. I like to sleep on my right side because the right side triggers our right brain, which is responsible for our parasympathetic nervous system, which is the place that we go to rest and digest mode. And I also like to put a pillow between my knees and keep my knees bent. This helps to keep the spine in neutral. It's very supportive for the spine and it helps a lot if you have low back pain or low back discomfort. So I hope these help you have a better night's sleep. Good night.